I'm at Chester by Mark. I'm outside of Shadow's bed. about to get out of the car. As always, it's raining outside. I'm at the government center building in Cavite. This is where I will get my new identification card. My uniqueness is called congenital amputation. Congenital amputation is the absence of a fetal limb or fetal part at birth. This condition may be the result of the constriction of fibrous bands within the membrane that surrounds the developing fetus, amniotic band syndrome, or the exposure to substances known to cause birth defects, teratogenic agents. Other factors, including genetics, may also play a role. How interesting! So many big words to describe my cute stuff. An estimated 1 in 2,000 babies are born with all or part of a limb missing, ranging from a missing part of a finger to the absence of both arms and both legs. I was born with a missing limb. Congenital amputation is the least common reason for amputation. However, there are occasional periods in history where the number of congenital amputations increased. The thalidomide tragedy of the early 1960s occurred after pregnant mothers in Western Europe were given a tranquilizer containing the drug. The result was a drastic increase in the number of babies born with deformed limbs. No, I was not born in Europe in the 1960s. Effects as a result of the radiation exposure near the site of the Chernobyl disaster in Russia have left numerous children with malformed or absent limbs. Where's Russia?
The exact cause of congenital amputations is unknown. Duh, I knew that. According to the March of Dimes, most birth defects have one or more genetic factors and one or more environmental factors. It is also known that most birth defects occur in the first three months of pregnancy when the organs of the fetus are forming. So that's what happened to me. Within these crucial first weeks of fetus growth, frequently prior to when a woman is aware of the pregnancy, the developing fetus is most susceptible to substances that can cause birth defects, teratogens. Exposure to teratogens can cause congenital amputation. So what? In other cases, tight amniotic bands may constrict the developing fetus, preventing a limb from forming properly if at all. Information overload. An infant with congenital amputation may be missing an entire limb or just a portion of a limb. Congenital amputation resulting in the complete absence of a limb beyond a certain point and leaving a stump is called transverse deficiency or Amelia. So my cute stump is called Amelia. Longitudinal deficiencies occur when a specific part of the limb is missing. For example, when the fibula bone in the lower leg is missing, but the rest of the leg is intact. Not me.
stamp around my neighborhood. Now, time to relax. Successful treatment of a child with congenital amputation involves an entire medical team including a pediatrician, an orthopedist, a psychiatrist or psychologist, a prosthetist, an expert in making prosthetics or artificial limbs, a social worker, and occupational and physical therapists. The accepted method of treatment is to fit the child early with a function of prosthesis because this leads to normal development and less wasting away atropathy of the muscles of the limbs present. However, some parents and physicians believe that the child should be allowed to learn to play and perform tasks without a prosthesis if possible. When the child is older, he or she can be involved in the decision of whether or not to be fitted for a prosthesis. Yeah, right. My treatment involved my dad getting me crutches. I refuse to use both and the rest is history.